What's up guys, it's Nick with Two Brothers Comics. Today we're going to be doing a video that I think has been coming for a long time. You guys know I've been into manga this year really, really heavily. I've been reading quite a bit. I've been talking to people and I'm going to talk about the five manga I think comic book fans or comic book readers should check out if you've ever wanted to dabble into manga. And this, honestly, the motivation of this really came from a comment I received uh, last week on another video about some recommendations for manga. And I told him, I said, look, I'll go ahead and do a video for you. I think it'll be a little bit easier than the comments. And hopefully some other folks out there will enjoy this. So before we continue, smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video towards the end of the video if you you know felt like you got something out of it. We're so close to that 5K mark, and we would love to hit it by December 31st. Now, let's jump right into the very first recommendation I have for manga for comic book readers. It is My Hero Academia. It's a little over 300 chapters right now. It's getting close to 30 volumes. It sounds like a lot, but man, it reads so quick. My Hero Academia is one of the most popular anime and manga out right now. And generally, I tend to stay away from some of the more popular things in the world, but this one really kind of pulled me in. It's very, very superhero centric. Okay, so that really relates well from comic book superheroes to manga superheroes. The storylines are really good. There's a lot of growth and development storylines, a lot of interesting uh, hero type abilities that you've never seen anywhere else. And then there are some definitely some cultural differences between, you know, the way those creators kind of view their culture and, and our culture, but there's nothing weird. Like you've maybe heard or had some uh, thoughts about it, but My Hero Academia is absolutely fantastic. It was one of the first ones I really dove in and I read all the way and now I'm reading them as they release digitally. And you can read all of these on the Shonen Jump app, on an iPad, on your phone, wherever. It's like $1.99 a month. And shout out to James Sobic for that because I wouldn't have known about that had it not been for him. But My Hero Academia, some just fantastic things uh, and, and a really really easy way to jump into the manga world. Next on the list is going to be Berserk. Now, I think everybody has heard of Berserk by this point, and if you haven't, it is uh, a fantastic manga. It is, uh, it's a little dark, a little edgier, um, a little bit of horror at times, a lot of horror at times, if I'm being honest, uh, but it's about this, this story following along uh, Guts, who is basically a dead man walking at the core of it right and you get a lot of demon stuff which is weird saying it out loud but the artwork is fantastic it's absolutely just a beautiful beautifully well written visually stunning manga uh, you can actually see right here i have the, cur the current eight hardcovers that i'm reading or that i've read through um, i believe it's going to end at the end of this year uh, if i'm not mistaken because the creator passed away earlier this year but there are anime adaptations of it as well, but Berserk, man, it is unlike anything else I've ever read. You just, you look at some of the spreads of the artwork on these, and it's just, oh, it's amazing. There's some more adult themes. This is certainly not something that you're going to want to read as a kid. Um, very adult themes at times, but nothing, I don't know, there might be some weird stuff in there. <laughs> but it is really, it's honestly a visually stunning manga. Uh, it's, you know... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's if if you like horror at all, it's certainly a good read. Um, and and these these hardcover deluxe editions, oh, they're they're beautiful. So check out Berserk. Next on the list is one that has not been released yet, but it's coming out uh, December or January. Uh, coming up, it is the Deadpool manga. Okay, it's the Deadpool Samurai, and it's Deadpool written in a manga format uh, he's going to be teaming up with a lot of uh shonen jump characters i believe all might is one of the big ones there from my hero academia and i'm really excited about this because you're taking you know a beloved comic book character you're going to put him in manga and i think honestly this might be one of the best points to maybe get into it um, it's been out for a while, but it just hasn't been translated to English yet. So I think this is one that if you know, you're kind of even remotely thinking about it, pick up the Deadpool manga when it comes out, read through it. You may really enjoy it. Don't worry about the black and white or reading right to left. You get used to that so quickly. Uh, but I think that's one that if none of these others on this list sound good to you, everybody knows Deadpool. Most people love Deadpool check this one out now i have two more on the list these two are some two of my personal favorites i have attack on titan is next everybody is so many people have heard of attack on titan because of the animation or the anime uh, i read the manga and i absolutely loved it so many twists turns 
your viewpoints go from one direction and then completely switch and it's it's an amazing and and visually stunning manga the artwork in it is great uh it is basically about uh this world where they are the last humans and they're surrounded by several walls but there are these things called titans just exactly what you think of massive giants uh and basically they eat the people and so everybody in these three walls they cannot escape they can't leave and if they do they have to fight the titans they have no idea what else is going around in the world uh they you know to them they're the last humans and it is very very interesting the anime does a great job don't get me wrong but i finished you know where i was at on the anime and decided i gotta read the manga so i read all through the manga uh down here you can actually see i have all of their omnibus formats there's volume six or volume one through six you know in the titan size edition so pretty cool um some horror themes nothing really weird just a good general story uh i loved it i absolutely loved it it's it's something different something you're never going to see in a comic book i think or at least having at this point so it's some variety there versus a superhero but man it is good next on the list was going to be dragon ball super but i decided you know what not everybody likes dragon ball i love dragon ball dragon ball is even my first love and the Dragon Ball Super manga has been wonderful. And if you were a fan of Dragon Ball, um, the show, read the mangas because the tone's different. The storylines are actually different. Uh, it's very interesting to see the differences between some of the manga and anime at times. But Dragon Ball Z would have been on the list. Check it out. I'm not going to say it's top five, but if you're a fan of it like I am, uh, Dragon Ball Super manga, amazing. And it's actually a lot different than the show. So check it out. The story arcs right now are some of the best I've read. Man, it's just, it's incredible. Now, the final pick is going to be Black Clover. Again, it's something else you can read on Shonen Jump, or you can buy the volumes. I have them all uh, over there on the other side of my shelves now. I love this story. I actually started off watching the show whenever we first had my child, and we were sitting there doing nothing but rocking a baby all the time, trying to get her to go to sleep. I started watching the show. And now I've read all the way and caught up to the manga. I believe we're a little over 300 chapters by this point, which means we're getting close to that 29, 30 uh, volumes. And I absolutely love this. It is a, basically what most manga tend to be started off with. You have these nobody characters who nobody cares. They're nobody important in the world. And it's the story of how they become uh, an extremely important person. Or And they do it through perseverance, training, trying hard. Uh, working at things uh, and I think those are really good things to 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 be putting in books is that effort means something and working towards a goal is important not just you're owed anything and it's it's kind of a swords and shields and magic kind of thing like you know don't get me wrong um, but it is about this the core character is Asta and then you have you know and they both think they're going to be uh, the captain of uh, a magic knight squad but not just that they're going to be the next wizard king and that's there's a whole lot to that but it's it's a fantastic show uh and the manga is even better uh it's visually just again wonderful that's one thing about manga is it's just so visually amazing um there's some horror themes to it but nothing like over the top not even more close to berserk just a really cool uh you know manga about about these folks and you know working towards their goals and I don't know like I don't want to spoil anything and that's one thing I got to work on is because I'll start describing something and then just totally spoil it um, but Black Clover's fantastic uh, it's hilarious like quite frankly just hilarious writing probably the funniest out of all these maybe the Deadpool once it comes out but I love the book I read it all the way through all these are books that I, I like I binged read um, and I have several more series that I've read and I'm currently reading and um, but these are like the five that I think would most relate to a comic book fan. Uh, you know, you, you have superheroes and there's some certainly some magic type comic books. And, you know, and then, of course, Berserk is would fit more into more of the horror themed comic books. There's a little something from everybody. But guys, let me know what you think about the list. If you decide to read one of these, let me know what you think. Uh, the best way, I think, to read it at no risk is to download the Shonen Jump app. It's $1.99 or the free trial on your cell phone or um, you know, an iPad or something and read through a volume or two and then go to the store and you can pick them up for like six, seven bucks or buy them on right stuff. Anime for like six or seven dollars if they're in stock. 
Um, and if you really love them, then, you know, look at doing some of the, the collected editions and stuff like that, just like you would with Omnibus and, and Comic Box. So, but guys, you're the best part of those comics. I really hope you guys get something out of this video. This is something manga's become something I really love reading. Um, just reading as a whole has been a big part of my comic collecting journey or comic book hobby journey at this point. But uh, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it out. And as always, collect your way.